Hello, welcome to this video. My name is Andy. Um, we're going to look at a passage from the book of Matthew today, Matthew 25, verses 1 to 13. Now, I've got some um, props here to help. This is my assistant, Muffin. She's not actually part of it. She's just, she's just very bombing. Um, so the story talks about ten young ladies represented here by these soft toys. Uh, Kitty's out for the afternoon, so I borrowed her probably her titties to illustrate this. And these uh, 10 young ladies had a job to do. They had one job to do. Um, there was, uh, we guess, an important person being married and their job was to be ready when the bridegroom came to the party, to the banquet. They had to be ready with their torches. So each of them has a torch. Okay, now, the thing is, the story says that five of these people were foolish and five of them were wise and the difference is the wise ones took it very seriously and they brought an um, extra oil for their lamps so not just the lamp they also had oil just in case things went on a bit longer than they expected and um, that's indeed what happens the story says that they all they all got there they all had their torches everything was fine um, it was all good, but then they fell asleep. But when they woke up, the bridegroom had come and the foolish ones, their torches had already run out. But the wise ones, they had spare oil, so they were able to relight their torches and welcome the bridegroom coming. Okay, that's the story. Now, what does it mean? What does it mean? Well, it, it's been interpreted in different ways, but the, the general idea is that Obviously, the bridegroom coming, the bridegroom coming represents Jesus coming back again. And these five had one job to do. Well, they all had one job to do, but these five took it seriously and did it properly and made sure that they were ready. These five says they were foolish. They kind of had other things on their mind. They were only half doing the job. They were split. These ones, their their focus was. Um, on the, their job. These ones um, had their minds elsewhere and it turned out badly for these ones. These ones, however, were well prepared. So on one level, this is saying that we've been given jobs to do by God. We've been given things to do, things in our heart that are really us. Um, you've been given something by God to do, which is your thing. And therefore, the right thing to do is to go at that totally really give your heart to it do it this this thing that makes your life what your purpose is in life is to go for it do it properly with spare oil whatever that means <laughs> for your thing just really put your heart into it do it thoroughly don't be split going off doing other things put a hundred percent into what it is that god wants you to do because that's where joy lies the second thing i think we can take from this is um how to cope when things take longer to happen than you'd like. Um, the bridegroom was coming. These ones weren't anticipating any delay. They kind of assumed it would be okay. They assumed he'd come quite soon, but he didn't. And sometimes the things that we do for God, um, it looks like we're getting nowhere. It looks like it, we're getting nowhere fast. But we have to remember to stay true, stay faithful, and remember that um, in the end, God will will come through. Uh, the bridegroom will come, and it pays to be the ones who are prepared doing the thing that they've been called to. Okay, thank you very much. Um, hope to see you soon. Bye bye.